the wedding dress. Part 1 Please just look at this fabric. It's Italian, and it's sewn by our best designers. According to Italian fashion, so all our brides are always trendy. Marina, look at it! Needed to be in trend? Well, I've never really had such beautiful things. You know, I always used to buy second-hand clothes. Marina, I'm getting married. And I haven't met your fiance yet. Marina, I'm sorry. I'm afraid to scare my happiness away. Now let's pick you a veil. And <laughs> accessories. <laughs> you will be the most beautiful bride. Everyone's eyes will be set on you that day. <laughs> the most important thing is that he likes this young, beautiful and loving bride. <laughs> but how much will this happiness cost? Is this real? Look, Jane, for this money you can get a kingdom and a horse. Let's get out of here. Madam, be careful! Marina, happiness is not money. I will only have one wedding dress, and I want to wear this dress. And also, I promise, I'll work hard to earn the money. I'll give you a task for right now. It's simple. How would you translate any of Shakespeare's dialogues, for example, in the play Richard III, but as if they were two diplomats, talking to each other, okay? You have five minutes. Jane is getting married, even before her friend Marina. <laughs> yes, and she will get honorable mention. And her fiancé has an apartment downtown. <laughs> what, Marina? Are you jealous? For an apartment? I don't need his apartment. I just need him. <laughs> Go figure. Silence, please. Petrova. Did you decide to change your major from translator to fashion designer? <laughs> what? Congratulations, well done. You have two minutes left. Jane, you're here. Come with me. Just sleep. I'll be back. Mm. The invitations are on the table. I made them. Take a look at them.
<sighs> Jane, where are you? Cause I have to finish this translation for tomorrow. When I finish, I'll join you. Give a million for a cup right now. Yeah. A million wouldn't hurt right now. <laughs> because I already spent mine. Because! <gasps> <laughs> uh, yes! <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm, wait, wait! You're gonna end up without a husband. Well, do you like it? Sure, cuz, of course I love it. It's just like the one I've always wanted. They say rings shouldn't be worn before the wedding. Okay, I'll wait a week. Okay. Hold on. This means bad luck? No, it's not. Uh, I have to go now. I love you. Me too. <laughs> Just roll it up. Hey, can you let me in, please? I translated lots of booklets for this agency. Please, I need to... Let it go home. Can you see we're closing? But who will pay me my money? What money? If you go to the boss, you won't find him. Well, maybe in five or six years, if he comes out. Yeah, it was froth. Go, let us work. <sighs> now decide. Yeah, Jane? Hello, Marina. Hello. Uh, listen, um, can you lend me some money? Nope, I don't have any. Will you take it? Yeah. The boss is in a good mood today, so 15% discount for you. <laughs> How much is it in advance? Let me see. Here. Uh. Um. I'm still a thousand and a half short. Hello, Jane. Thank you. You know, I bought some potatoes and other veggies, but I got tired. I do everything by myself, and there's no one to help. Oh, you know, I have a friend in the countryside. He's such an independent and nice man. He's very devoted to his garden, and it's beautiful, but in his house, oh, there's, there's dust everywhere. <laughs> There are cobwebs, the windows are dirty. He asked me to do the cleaning, but I have health problems. My blood pressure is high. It hurts here, it hurts there. Oh, I can't do a thing anymore. Ah, oh, here you go. 
organic, no pesticides. The best. Well, let's go. Come on. Oh. Yes, hello. I'm calling for the urgent Russian translation ad. Yes, I can definitely start right now, but I need 1500 in advance. Hi? Yes, hello. Yes, but for the ad, to check the exams. Yes. Yes, I do know English and German. Yes, yes. I am a student. Why not? Because I have no experience? I do have experience. Hello? Hello! I don't understand. Why can't we just arrive on time? We're always late for everything. Yes, and now we're lost. Now we're lost. Hello. Where, Where are, are we going? Good day, Vera. Hello. Hi. Listen, where can I find your Which neighbor? Which one? The one who has dust everywhere and really dirty windows. Ivan or who? Yeah, that one. Oh. Why are you asking? Um, I just need to earn some money. Okay, I'll give you the address. It's crossing the station, and then you go over here. Come in. Good morning. Good day. Are you Ivan Lukic? Yes. I'm Jane. We talked on the phone the other day, remember? Show me your ID. Jane Petrova. Is that your name? Yes. Very good. I'll tell you what to do. We haven't agreed on the money. You smart one. Work first, and then we'll deal with the money. Come on. That's what I told you. We need to check that first. We can decide later. What do you think? Hello, Jane? Hello, my love. I'm not coming. I have things to do. But what about the suit? Jane, you know shopping is not my thing. I can't do it alone. Don't worry about it. Somebody will help you. I completely trust in her taste. You'll see. I love you. Great. Are you Koss? I am Marina, Jane's friend. Nice to meet you. Well, are you ready? For what? <laughs> Excellent. Do you like it? I do. So, I need you to pay it now the fitting of the trousers and the sleeves. You can pick it up in two days and the title will be... Wait. I thought the fitting was included. Mm-mm. 
You see, I just have a certain amount. Everything is fine, just wrap it up, okay? Mm-hmm. It's my hobby. I even have a sewing machine at home. So you want me to go to your house right now? What? Are you scared of me? Of course not. But my grandma also has a sewing machine. In my house. Here it is. That's all right. Well, Jane. Was there a lot of dust? A little, yes. But a room on the second floor was closed. Don't go in there. Okay. The curtains in the kitchen should be washed, and the pots... What pots? All of them. I washed them. Hmm. Thank you. I didn't notice. I work in the yard, and as you can see, I don't clean often. I'm all alone. Mm. I need help. My Liz died nine years ago. She bought these curtains, so be careful with them. Sure, of course. I can wash the ceilings too. And the carpets it also. It would be perfect. Well, at an extra charge, of course. <laughs> kind, but you're so greedy. No, really, I'm not. I just need 1500. Ah, uh, I see. Here's my grandma's machine. Don't doubt it works very well. It doesn't open. You are so funny. My name is Cause. Yeah, I know that. I'd like to make a toast for the suit. Um, we don't have wine. Well, maybe... just one second. Here it is. I got the flu. Um, and Jane gave it to me. But I don't really drink. Well, neither do I. But today I'll do a great job with the suit and you, so... Um... Toast to the groom and his new suit. I hope you have an incredible marriage. <clears throat> okay, now put on the trousers. Do I have to take it off? Of course I have to. <clears throat> Maybe we start with the coat? Yeah, let's start with the coat. Hey, Marina. Don't think I'm a loser. This money problem is just temporary. By the way, I was the best student on the course. I'll have a company with friends and even we may... You're shivering, Kos. No. <sighs> Are you afraid of me? You are so... So what? So sweet. And this is just the beginning.
This is for you, Jane Petrova. As you want it. Fifteen hundred. Really? It's the Colonel's word. Are you tired? Yes, a little bit. Wait. I have this for you. Oh, that's too much. I'm in charge here. Take <clears throat> it. Young people need more money than old people. Just spend it on something that's worth it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I have to go. Thank you. <laughs> I did it! I'll buy the dress. I'll take it. Excellent. Wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yes. Have a good man. Have a nice wedding. Thank you. Congratulations. That's exciting. This is just divine. Cos, I was calling you. Are you asleep or what? Jane, you're here. Jane, I don't know how it happened. It's like, like a blur, like, like a glitch in my head. Cause you were on top? I'll go now. I cannot stand scandals. You, you bought the dress? Well done. Amazing. You did it. And, um, is this the dress? Goss. I'm going crazy. Tell me that this was just a mistake. Jane, I don't know what it was. Mistake or not. I'm really ashamed. But I don't regret it. I'm sorry. I had no one else but Koss. We were alone, the two of us. We just had each other. You're just two loners. Why did you do it? I did you a favor, you fool. It would be worse if your hubby would cheat on you after the wedding, and you would stay alone with three children. You better say, thank you, Marina. You saved Marina, me. Marina, I'm pregnant. What a news. Does he know? It was my wedding present for him. like that what are you doing I thought you were never stopping hello good night mm. don't you remember me I'm Jane Petrova I I used to live at room number 13 before so what would you let me sleep here today please mm. if I do that there won't be enough place for others Petrova Petrova is it you? What is wrong? Oh, come in, come, come, come. What do you think I am? A monster or what? Oy. 
goodness, this child. And what about the wedding now? What wedding? You don't need that bastard. Jane, can you both work it out? Don't even think about it. You did everything right. Show some self-pride. If I were you, I would kill him. You are not in her shoes. I know. I would have done something worse. Jane, don't listen to her. Lie down. And sleep. Calm down. <laughs> Poor Petrova. <laughs> sure, Marine is a snake. She's a bitch. <laughs> and this man was so nice. But he's an asshole too. <laughs> At least she's not pregnant. <laughs> And a dress. <laughs> it's so pretty, right? <laughs> Jane would look like a queen in it. And now... Poor, poor girl. <laughs> Hey, Jane, what are you doing? It's expensive. You're spending a lot of money for it. Enough! It's none of your business and I don't need you to feel sorry for me. Just leave me alone. Hey, she's hysterical. Give her a pill and I'll get the dress. I want to return it. What's wrong with the dress? I don't need it anymore. So it was all a joke? Give me the receipt and write a reason. Receipt? But you didn't give me any receipt. Listen, just, just take the dress, please. The item has been sold. It's non-refundable without a receipt. That's the store policy. Why are you doing this? You know I bought it here. Girl, there's no need to go hysterical, or I'll call security. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Ladies, listen! Winter is coming! Buy your coats here! All natural! These foxes were running through the woods yesterday. Lady, do you want to sell the dress? Yes. Then we have to advertise it. Ladies, take a look at this beautiful wedding dress. Huh? It's exclusive, <laughs> brought from the United States. That's not true. What's wrong? Say something. If you want to sell it, you got to advertise it. Pies, pies, buy yummy pies. How much? Five each one. I want one. Are they fresh? Of course. I hope so. If not, I won't buy it. <laughs> Come and see the wedding dress. Oh, so cute. How much is it? Just the same that I spent on it. Will you take it? Let me see. That's too much. Did you add a zero here? I can't believe it. Hmm. What kind of fabric is this? <laughs> I don't even need it. I'm not getting married. It's too late for that. So why are you asking? <laughs> because I'm curious. She left a stain? Uh, this is a market, baby. Just be careful who you're going to sell it to. Who wants pies? Get a pie. We have tea and coffee, too. Beautiful furs! Winter is coming! Don't hesitate! That's romantic. You won't fight another one. Take it! Is it you, Jane? I recognized you. Are you a street vendor now? Have you been here long? Are you hungry? Here. Take this. 
Easy, it's okay. It's okay. Stop the tears. Come with me. Come with me. Hurry. Come on. Walk. Fur coats! Drink some of this. It's pear liqueur. I did it. Drink. I don't want it. So stubborn. I won't ask you anything. You don't even have to talk. Great. Because everyone bothers me with questions. I'm not to be pitied. I've had enough of pity. I see. At least drink water. Dear, rest as much as you want. I have things to do. Mr. Ivan? Yes? May I sleep a little bit? Yes, sure. Sleeping outdoors is the best medicine. Are you still alive? I am. Tea? No, thank you. Um, I... I should go now. Listen, Jane Petrova. No matter how bad you feel now, look for joy in your life. What joy? My joy is gone. Where could I find it now? Well, honey, it's different for everyone. I'll show you something. Come, this way. Here they are. Look, this is Gloria Day. Virginia. Belle Noir. Auguste Louise. <laughs> Smell their fragrance. Huh? This variety, it is called Elizabeth. You called it after your wife? Sometimes I wake up feeling pretty bad. Hmm. But then I come here, take care of them, and the pain goes away. Ivan, I'm pregnant. You sure? No husband. No money. I no longer believe in people. And you say to look for joy. Don't look for it. You carry your joy within you. So beautiful. And you're so small. Look, your little hands and fingers. They're so cute. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> A 
look at those long lashes. Everything's okay. Who's visiting Jane Petrova? Hey. Hmm? Thanks for the flowers. You brought baby clothes? Yes, madam. Everything on the list. Is the child healthy? Yes, she is. What's your relationship to her? Me? I'm her grandfather. Who else? Wait here, grandfather. <laughs> Come in, please. Thank you, Ivan, dear. Thank you. For everything. All right, Jane Petrova. Don't be embarrassed to accept help. Look over there. There are diapers, rattles, bottles. There's the crib where the baby can sleep. Isn't she cold? Or maybe hot. I can open the window. Does she want milk? <laughs> she just... Heard about milk and she wants to eat, right? <laughs> How will you call her? Liz. Elizabeth. Do you mind? In Lisa's honor, I'll plant white roses. They'll grow together. <sighs> oh, 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 the baby woke up. Jane, come! Oh, what's happening? It's okay. Don't scare her. It's time for Liz to eat. You should give her some of that special food for babies. Time to eat? <laughs> it's time, right? Tell her, Mommy, I want to eat. And then want to play, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not yet, not yet. I'll feed her, and you go and study. Come on, go. Uh-huh, yeah. Darling, I have some things to do. Yeah, I just need to finish some translations, okay? okay? <laughs> finish it and we'll eat later, okay? <laughs> ah. Ah, it's delicious. Now, I want some. <laughs> Ivan! Shh, quiet! May I? Come on, Alex. And Tell me. who is she? Who? My granddaughter? So you're now talking again to your... What do you need? I'm busy. Excuse me, Ivan. I will like your wonderful roses. It's my mother-in-law's birthday, and I don't have time to go buy Admit them. it, Alex. You just forgot about your mother-in-law, right? Go get the scissors and pick some out. Your mother-in-law said that you're a lawyer. I'm a notary. How much is it going to be? Mm. There's no need for that. It's always been like that. Neighbors should help each other, don't you think? It's done. It's a deal. Then, Ivan, if you need something, just call me. Anytime. Well, that sounds nice. Thanks a lot, Ivan. See you. Bye, beauty. You've got a good grandpa. What a beauty. So cute. Yes.
I bathed her, changed her, I fed her and slept her. You're so good, Ivan. I don't know what we would have done without you. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Excellent grades. Hello. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> good day. Hello. <laughs> oh, good morning. Hello and well done, Petrova. You never disappoint me. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank so you so much. <laughs> I couldn't recognize you. Good to see you, Jane. How are you? I'm okay. Excellent grades. <laughs> I uh, bought a car. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Can you forgive me? I was so wrong. I did everything wrong. Cause. I have to tell you something. It's actually about someone. A very important person to me. <clears throat> Congratulations, my love. Thank you. Hello. Congratulations, <laughs> Jane. Congratulations from your daughter, Liz. Tell your mother she's great. <laughs> Lizzie, look what mommy has done. <laughs> Congrats, Jane. Well done. You forgot me so soon, huh? And I suffered like a fool. Couldn't sleep. You had a child with an old man. Is the baby yours? Cause don't do it. Slimy little bastard. <gasps> Are you crazy? Damn you, get lost. Or what? As a colonel. I have permission to carry a pistol in my rank. Let's go now. Come on. Calm down. Let's go. Uh. Oh. Ivan, are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. Just give me five minutes. My heart will calm down. I've been listening. You are my knight, a true colonel. I'm not so sinless, dear Jane. Don't idealize people, so you won't be disappointed. I could never be disappointed in you. And I brought you some tea, you want some?
Ivan, Ivan. We haven't seen him much lately. And now... Now he's gone. May he rest in peace. Such a strong man he was. And his son didn't even come. He didn't say goodbye. He has a son? Yes, his name is Patrick. Didn't you know it? Ivan didn't tell you? We must look for him. Does it hurt? Show me your hand. Your task is not only to look pretty, but also to check the props. Patrick, why do you talk to me like this? Do you think I did it on purpose or what? Lay, it's your responsibility. And yours is to provide for our family. Tell me, how many years have we lived in rented apartments and we're not even in the best shows? Bring the first aid kit, please. Look, look at that. <laughs> It's great. Hey. Do you like it? Is the baby yours? No. No. What do you want? This is a circus, not a nursery. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. Can you help me? So go and look somewhere else. No, I'll stay here. Listen, strangers are forbidden. Hey, let me go. I'm looking for Patrick. I won't leave until I see him. You have it just in front of you. Is it you? Um. I... Who are you? I'm Jane. Jane Petrova. And this is Liz? Well, that explains a lot. Your father Stop. is... Stop. I don't want to hear about him. Ivan is dead! 